All right, guys, so the first thing you got to do um, to get this ping sensor working is you got to type into your code, include smartinventor.h, right? Then we're going to set up the pins. So here are the pins. This is the trig pin. So it's going to be on pin 27. That's the one on the very top of port D. So we're going to add the other one, echo pin. All right, so these are the two speakers. One's for the trigger speaker and one's for the echo speaker. And so one of them listens, which is the echo one, the other one's the trig that shoots the sonar. So next, we're gonna go into the setup. We're gonna put the baud rate, we're gonna be sending information across. So we do serial dot begin, 9,600. Remember, this is inside the setup. So next, we're going to put the pins as uh, output and one as input. So the trick pin is going to be output because it's the one actually shooting the message, the sonar sound. The other one's the echo pin, it's going to be input, it's going to be listening for it. So next, let's move on to the loop. So we create two long variables. We create duration and distance. Duration is going to be actually time and it's going to be in microseconds. And distance is in, going to be in centimeters. So we create these two numbers. We're gonna play with these later. So next, we're, this is the actual code to get the ultrasonic sensor working. So first you turn off the ultrasonic speaker. And you do this for two microseconds. This is a very small amount of time. Next, we're going to turn it on. So we're gonna turn it on. We turn it on for 10 microseconds. So high just means that you're turning on that pin and which causes the circuit on the ultrasonic sensor to shoot the sound. It's a 40 kilohertz sound wave. So it does it for 10 microseconds, and that's eight pulses in 10 microseconds. So it looks like it's basically a square wave. If you want, you can like look that up look for like a square wave diagram, and it shows you kind of what it looks like. It shows basically zero volts, and then like five volts, zero volts, five volts. And then we're going to turn it off again. And now we're gonna do the listening part. So we wait and we use the pulse in command. So pulse in waits until the echo pin. So the echo pin right now is low. It's not listening to anything. At the moment that this was shut off and then turned off, that sounds flying in the air and then it comes back. And once it hits the echo speaker, it's gonna, this is gonna turn on. So it's gonna be high. So what pulse in does is that it records the amount of time that you start this function to the moment that this pin state changes. And so we save that time and it's in microseconds. So now we have the time. So now we're going to calculate the distance using this time we got. So we divide the time, which is in microseconds, you divide it by two, divide by 29.1. There's some conversions going on here. It's converting basically, um, what is it? Microseconds to seconds so you can get um, the centimeters per second and then you end up with centimeters so this distance is in centimeters so next we're going to print that information out so if you want you can also print out the duration if you want to you just uncomment these lines right here but we want the distance so this is going to output the distance onto the serial monitor all right hello guys so i'm going to show you how to upload the program and serially display the data from the ultrasonic sensor so I'm not, you can't see it on the screen, but I have the ultrasonic sensor here hooked up with all four wires, all female jumpers. And right now the smart venture board has dip switch one on, so it's in upload mode. So I'm just gonna check to see if it's, everything's correct. All right, right board, port is connected here. I'm just gonna upload it. I'm gonna upload it right now. Let's see, try one more time. Okay, there, it's done uploading. So that was step one, you just upload it into it. Now you get to pull dip switch one off. All right, so I turned it off and keep it connected. Don't disconnect the USB cord just yet because you need it. So we're gonna go right here to the serial monitor, click on it, and there's a bunch of numbers coming out. So if you have, let's see, right now I'm holding my hand right in front of the ultrasonic sensor. And so it's outputting centimeters, so that's 12, centimeters it's not 
amazingly accurate. You can grab a ruler and kind of calibrate it if you want. All right, I can move it back and forth. You can see how it changes. And there you go.